Hello friends, I wanted to talk to you today about something that I've been wanting for a while and I finally got it. I found this at Target. It is a French press little coffee maker. Um, this is something that would be good to have if your favorite coffee maker goes on the blink or you just want to try something different maybe rather than your Keurig or regular brewed coffee. So I'm going to demonstrate today for the first time. This is new to me too. I just bought this yesterday. Um, it's not sponsored or anything but I've been wanting one and for those of you who are curious about them I figured I would do a little video on how it works. So I've read the instructions which I was a little freaked out about when I opened the page and saw that it was this big but then I realized there was about six different languages so the instructions are fairly short but what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and heat some water in the microwave and it says to use very hot water but not boiling water so I decided against boiling it because I didn't want it to be too hot I didn't want it to break because this is glass here it says three cups however it is really small it's going to be probably enough for one mug of coffee I saw the eight cup but I read some reviews on the eight cup and it is so large that if you're making coffee only for yourself the plunger doesn't go, I call it a plunger, it doesn't go all the way to the bottom so it doesn't press the coffee grounds. So I went with the smaller one um, because normally if I use this it's only going to be for myself anyway. So I'm going to heat some water and I will be right back with you in just a moment. Okay my water is in the microwave heating. Um, part of the instructions it said to use one scoop of coffee for each cup. Well this says it's a three cup so I'm going to use three scoops of coffee and I'm just making this to go in into my one mug here. I'm hoping it'll fill it up. We'll see. Um, you want to make sure your water is fairly hot. I know it said don't use boiling water but it also said to let it sit for four minutes. So if you don't get your water pretty hot, there it is now, then it's going to be cold by the time you pour it after you let it sit for four minutes. So that's just a, a tip that I thought of to let you know to get your water really hot just before boiling before you use it. Okay, this fair feels like it's, whew, yeah, that's hot. It feels like it's um, fairly hot. So here we go. We're going to try this for the first time. Pull this out. This is the screen or the filter on it right here. And this does not come off. I don't know if it would unscrew to come off or not. But um, and I've never tried this. I like caramel. So I thought, well, caramel coffee cake. We'll try this and see. Be something different. Sort of like a um, dessert. There's one. There's two, and there's three. Something tells me this is going to be very, very strong. I don't know. We'll try it and see. Okay, let's don't spill it everywhere. I'm spilling it everywhere. Okay, this is crazy. Bear with me. I'll learn how to do it one day. And it did say to leave a little room at the top. I can't remember why. I think so that when you go to plunge it, it doesn't cause too much pressure. We're just going to sit this on here and see it has a little straining part here also. So we're just going to sit this on here just to cap it so that it doesn't get too cold. And we're going to let it sit for the four minutes that it says to let it sit and then we will see you back. Okay, we have about a minute left. I wanted to give you a little more information on this. It is my Bodum. I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. 
um, and it says French Press Brazil, and this is the 12 ounce model. They have three sizes. I did see an eight cup, but I really thought that would be too large just for me. So I bought the three cup, which is 12 ounces, and I, I got mine at Target, but now I will link um, Bodum's website below so that you can check it out if you want. It was just under 20 bucks, but you know, it is, in my opinion, I just want something different. So that's why I bought this. That and if for some reason my Keurig goes on the blink, then I won't have to be without coffee until I can get another one to replace it. So just under a minute left, we're going to press it and I've already added my cream and sugar because I can't drink coffee without cream and sugar. I don't know about you guys, but um, I went ahead and put that in so that you wouldn't judge on the amount of cream and sugar that I use in mine. Not that you would, because we're all friends, right? So we'll just give this the last few seconds, and then we'll press it, and we will give it a taste and see how it works. I'm really excited because I've been wanting one of these for a few weeks now, and I've been looking at them online, and it just happened to be in Target yesterday, and I thought, well, you know, let me look. And then I saw this, and of course I had to go buy some ground coffee because all I had was K-Cups. So we're going to go ahead and just press this slowly. All the way to the bottom. It smells wonderful. I'm afraid to push it too hard. This is glass. I can't remember if I told you guys it was glass or not, but press it all the way until it won't go down any further. Okay, is that it? Yep. Okay, that's as far as it'll go. And then this is what it looks like. Oh, I'm so excited. Just gonna pour it up. Okay, and I must have a really large mug because this only filled it about halfway full, which I'm a little disappointed in. However, I honestly thought the eight cup would be too big, but I may have to go back and get the eight cup. When I say eight cup, that's not eight of these. That's eight little, what we probably should be drinking out of, small coffee cups. Let's try this and see what it tastes like. Wow, that is awesome. Super strong, almost like an espresso shot. If you love coffee, you definitely are gonna love one of these. I'm here to tell you. I don't know if you can see. I don't wanna spill it. Let me pick you up a second. See, it made about a half a mug. All right, well, that's the end of me showing off my new, I don't wanna say toy, but French press. Give you guys an, another idea of a way to make coffee for yourself. And I will see you guys next time.